Cheryl and I enjoyed another couple of weeks of sunsets over Skull Creek in Hilton Head. Guga is always up for an adventure, so we were able to have a couple of day trips off the island. Our first day out was to Bluffton. South Carolina is known for its rich history, beautiful beaches and southern charm. Bluffton is a charming town in South Carolina. It boasts a historic district with antebellum homes, art galleries and quaint shops. It is also known for its scenic location along the May River, offering opportunities for boating, fishing and outdoor recreation. Our daily routine at Hilton Head Plantation was set by Guga. Nice long walks in the morning and afternoon, his enthusiasm each time was infectious. Walking from Dolphin Head and along the bluff at the northernmost point of the island was one of the favourites. Watching for dolphins while walking along the bluff and then for alligators at the edges of the many ponds near the golf course on the return loop was the routine. We explored various stretches of the beach depending on the tide and watched the sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean. The Spanish moss draped over the live oaks is an iconic symbol of the Low Country, casting a serene ambience over the landscape. Intermingled with the live oaks are palmetto trees with their distinctive fan-shaped leaves, adding to the region's tropical allure. Back at Skull Creek, an afternoon game of not being able to catch Guga was performed. <laughs> we got to know some of Guga's very nice friends, such as Sue and RJ. The very historic port city of Savannah, Georgia is less than an hour drive from Hilton Head, South Carolina. The squares in Savannah are a hallmark of the city's urban design and history. They were originally laid out in the 18th century by General James Oglethorpe, the founder of the Georgia colony. Oglethorpe's plan included a series of squares, each surrounded by residential and public buildings. Today the squares are a beloved feature of Savannah's historic district. Cheryl had prepared a terrific picnic lunch. We sat on a bench in Forsyth Park and people watched while we ate our lunch. After lunch, we had a coffee at a local cafe. We have made numerous trips to Savannah and the Low Country over the years and I suspect we'll be back.